Okay, so I know I have more stuff for the haul. Let me find it. I just had it. So I am unprepared. I have a little bit of stress. Things happening. Where did it go? I had one more little baggie. There it is. Don't know what's in this little baggie. Part <laughs> to the little rose, or the rose uh, quartz moon that I got. It's really hard to see. So, so we got a pretty good haul. I think that's it. I do believe that's all from the end. Nope. remember feeling another a different a different one in there because I had two of those. Huh. Well, what's an unknown? I guess I'll go through all these packages again. So I'm going to you know what I'm gonna go ahead and do the safety goddess one now. Her name is um, her name is Athena, and she her creations are just magnificent. Mm, that smells good. Oh my gosh, the wick is very, 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 very tiny and very strange on here. I'm gonna see what happens. I'm gonna light it in a sec. Do a little thing with it first, but key candle. But look what I mean about the wick. It's really. Like it's almost missing a wick. That's weird. Okay. Maybe not the best promo for Sage Goddess after all. Making a twenty dollar candle with no wick. get a free little gift um, amber rose perfume but the good thing is though when they send me another replacement for this one I can melt this down and then make myself a new candle because I make candles so not entirely horrible make myself another one but that's not really good it's a, a home candle. It's supposed to just you know, bring peace into the home and just boost the, the vibes and remove the negative energy. So I got another little trio. I love these little trios of perfumes. And I have a little thing of them, gold bulb them downstairs that I keep with a few crystals. But I got another one that is, this is Sadness Relief. I'm having some sad days lately. And then this one is another manifestation. I love her manifestation one. And then this is a shielding one. So I thought those were cool. I don't have those yet. And you can get three of those for six. Three for six. So then... Jeez, this is a tiny piece. Oh, goodness. Okay. Baked citrine. So, baked citrine is an amethyst that has been heated in this form. Baked citrine takes on the properties of citrine 
a gem that activates the solar plexus chakra and draws in money, magic, manifestation, and prosperity of all kinds. Carry with you, put in a med medicine bag or pouch or hold during spiritual work. But this thing is so freaking tiny. It is tiny and it's almost like a chip. Like I didn't even know if it was in there. It is tiny. The thing was expensive. It was like 30 bucks. You, my friend, must be a super important dude. So we're gonna put you there so you don't get lost with you with your adventuring friends. I'll be right there, sweetie. I'll be right there, honey, bunny. And then I got a candle. Well, their candles are very interesting. I haven't ordered a lot of candles from there because I, I do make my own candles. And I usually just get plain candles and do them myself. But they have these rolled beeswax candles. And I opened that one without reading which one it was because I honestly don't remember. I didn't order too many different ones, though. But it didn't even say. It just said Sage Goddess. Okay, that's not helpful. That's <laughs> not helpful at all. I want to say it's a Gemini candle. I'm not that impressed with it at this moment. And not, 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 not. I am pretty sure that this is a Gemini candle or a manifestation candle. I'm pretty sure it's a Gemini candle because I know that this candle right here is my birthday candle that I ordered. And I was not feeling up to doing anything on my birthday. I was extremely depressed. So, see, and this one has a little, a little label on there. I don't know why the other one does not. But this is birthday blessings. You light it on your birthday. So... I may do that after I, I finish a transformation thing that I'm working on, but I'm just not ready yet. I think that that was a Gemini one that I got to kind of piggyback off of, but isn't that cool? Like how the wax is rolled together. And when this melts, as it burns, I'm going to do like a little time-lapse video of it because I think it's going to be cool. I got some body wash. Their products, I have to smell this first. Their products are amazing for, mm, I can smell it through the, oh God, that smells good. This is called Gold Body Wash. Gold. And it smells so good. And it has so many magical properties. And there's just so much. This one is like, um, the, the idea of like luxury, um, you know, just ba just spoiling yourself. And then I got some tiger's eye, a little chunk here. It was like a dollar, so I thought that's a cute little shape. So I got another little tiger's eye. I like to have, and I have a little tiger's eye, this little ball thingy somewhere. I'll, he rolled off. <laughs> I may have moved it because it was wiggly. But, um, I love to carry Tiger's Eye on my person. I'm going to read you what it says about Tiger's Eye. She packs all of her crystals with a little piece of sage in it. It's interesting. Um, Tiger's Eye, of course, is a solar plexus chakra stone of empowerment. This gem helps you strategize, plan, and prepare for change. It's Goddess Athena's stone. Bring protection. And that's her name, is Athena. So I guess this is her favorite one, I guess. Or the goddess Athena. I'm not sure which goddess they mean. I'm not, I'm not sure, but it just doesn't sound like it's the goddess of the goddess, goddess Athena stone. I'll have to look. But it says bringing protection, wisdom, and justice. Tiger's eye also enhances to intuition and helps channel visions of past lives. To use with you, carry with you, same old thing. Which goddess are they talking about? So another teeny tiny one. Gosh, this stuff is tiny. This is Campo del Cilio Meteorite. 
So this is an actual meteorite. Some of it I can't tell if it's, you know, the sage being in here because some of these things are so dang tiny. Okay, the meteorite. It's so tiny. But it's an actual meteorite. And I was reading on doing some sort of outer, out of body celestial stuff. And so I stocked up on a couple of this, these kind of little things. The meteorite, and um, I have some moldavite that I got, and um, whatever the hell this is supposed to do, this meteorite here. Um, <laughs> we're going to see what happens. It's just something I've always been interested in. I got some time to kill this summer. Oh, this is a beautiful specimen of whatever this is, because I don't remember what it is. Oh, this is a green garnet. This is a green garnet. So, green garnet is a solar plexus and heart sharper stone, a prosperity, business success, confidence, and stability, a master healer. It also supports mental and emotional healing and heart's desires. This is beautiful. It's like a green tiger's eye, almost. It is beautiful. Wow, that's pretty. So anyway, that is the entirety of the crystals, I think. This is some Palo Santo soap. Their soaps are amazing. Go through them like crazy. Go through the body wash, go through the soap. I have the facial products I've shown you guys. But these little friends, I'm just gonna open one because I hear my daughter starting to yell for me. But they're they're the same, they're a pair. I got them for Lakshmi's altar. I will show you what it looks like when I'm finished. I'm just about finished with it. Um, Lakshmi herself is downstairs undergoing a process, so she's not gonna be in this hall, but she is you will see her when I do the altar. So that is that. And these are just little tea light holders. They're they're gorgeous so pretty so that is all i have witches and blessed be